The city of Sacramento wants to hear from you when it comes to making improvements to certain neighborhoods. There's a million dollars in total that's going out into the city for a variety of projects. Joining us now to explain more is Talitha Floyd with the Particip Participatory Budget Program to tell us how this voting process is open right now. Thanks so much for your time. Good morning. Thank you so much, Michael. Yes, your voice, your choice. The participatory budget is in phrase three of the vote. And this is a wonderful opportunity to come out and represent your voice in the community and take the time to vote on projects that were specifically fleshed out by community members to give you equity in those areas that have lacked equity in some time. Easy way to vote come out you can do it online or in person we do have a bit.ly link bit.ly b-i-t dot l-y at bp sec 22 that will take you directly to the city of sac page and give you all the qualifications all you have to do is be a resident of the target areas 14 years or older and you're able to make that vote for your choice now, $1 million doesn't exactly go as far as it used to. So how important and how vital is it for folks to come out and express exactly where the, this money needs to be targeted? It's the power of the voice and the choice of the community. It is so important that we know from our community members what is needed so that we can grow, increase, and change slowly. This is a pilot process. This is the first year. If this is successful, this voice and this choice that's being made by the community can be duplicated over again. And this can be something that happens year and year after year after year, where the voice of the community can be heard clearly and implemented in ways that will truly benefit us. Are there some neighborhoods that uh, you folks are targeting already? Absolutely. Um, they're in the northeast and southeast area. If you want to see more specifically, you would go to the city pages. But they are city city areas in Sacramento that have been underserved historically. So what's next once uh, voting comes to a close? Well, that will be our implementation phase where we take those voted on ideas, those high voted on ideas, the results from the community, and we begin to implement those programs into those target areas. All right, million dollar question. If folks are interested, where do they go for more information? You can definitely go to the city website. Again, that's um, on our bit.ly website. You can find it at the city of Sacramento.org under the city manager's major projects page, our measure new project for participatory budget. Again, you can find that link, which is bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y dot P-B two two. And you can get all the information you need. It gives you those specific target areas. It lets you know that you need to be 14 years or older and a resident of the focus area of the North area or the South area. You can go online and make the vote. And it also shows you in-person locations that you'll be able to go in to do those paper votes if you don't happen to have the technology you need to make that online vote. All right, Talitha Floyd, very important information there. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. You guys have a great day.